I'm Harry, Harry Potter. Hey guys, Tessa here, and are you ready to get sorted? But first, I want to talk about the Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit. A big thanks to Cano for sponsoring this video. The Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit is the first ever build-it-yourself interactive Harry Potter wand. It is a DIY computer coding kit that shows you how to build a Bluetooth wireless wand and learn to code with 70 step-by-step -step creative challenges inspired by the Wizarding World. Kids should be creating, not just consuming technology, and the Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit does this while also bringing that Harry Potter magic to life. Normally, it runs for $99.99, but right now Cano is having a sale and selling Selling this kit for $79.99. That's right. Check out the link in my description box for more information on one of the best Harry Potter gifts that you can give this year. And just so you know, this is a limited offer. These wands are likely to sell out. So make sure you check out the link in my description box and go get your Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit at the best price of the holiday season right now before it runs out. Do it! Do it! It's Harry Potter and coding, yeah! Okay, back to sorting! Now, I was proudly sorted into Ravenclaw by Pottermore, but according to this quiz, which is linked in my description box, these are my Pottermore percentage results after taking the quiz and answering all the questions. The difference between this quiz and other extended Pottermore quizzes that I've taken in the past is that while you are taking this quiz, you can see the percentage of your house's change as you go. It's amazing. So being the Ravenclaw that I am, I analyzed the quiz and decided to make four videos, one representing each of the houses, that will show which answers to each Pottermore question will give you the highest percentage of each house. I will link the video for each house as I post it in my description box. Again, these are not my personal answers to the Pottermore quiz. Those are in a different video where I actually get sorted and I will link that video in my description box as well. Even though I'm a Ravenclaw, these are like the ultimate Ravenclaw answers, not like how I would answer. Are you guys ready? Welcome to the Ravenclaw video. I am going to show you how to get sorted into Pottermore with the highest Ravenclaw percentage. How to be the most Ravenclaw. I am giving you all the Ravenclaw answers. I'm also going to leave a little pause between the question and the answer so that you guys can try to guess which one you think is the most Ravenclaw. Okay, I have my laptop. Let's get started! Dawn or dusk? The Ravenclaw answer is dawn. Forest or river? The Ravenclaw answer is forest. Moon or stars? The Ravenclaw answer is moon. Luna! Which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ordinary, ignorant, cowardly, or selfish? The most Ravenclaw answer is ignorant. After you've died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Miss you but smile, ask for more stories about your adventures, think with admiration of your achievements, or I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead, it's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. The Ravenclaw answer is think with admiration of your achievements. How would you like to be known to history? The wise, the good, the great, or the bold? This is probably the easiest one to guess, but the Ravenclaw answer is the wise. Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you love, glory, wisdom, or power? Again, pretty obvious. The Ravenclaw answer is wisdom. Soul wise. Once every century, the Flutterby bush produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, it would smell of a crackling log fire, the sea, fresh parchment, or home. The Ravenclaw answer is fresh 
parchment. We like the smell of books. We like the smell of homework. We like the smell of parchment. <laughs> Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? The foaming, frothing, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. The smooth, thick, richly purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums. The golden liquid so bright that it hurts the eye and which makes sunspots dance all around the room. Or the mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink and gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. answer is the foaming, frothing, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. What kind of instrument most pleases a Ravenclaw's ear? The violin, the trumpet, the piano, or the drum? The Ravenclaw answer is the piano. You enter an enchanted garden. What would you be most curious to examine first? The silver leaf tree bearing golden apples, the fat red toadstools that appear to be talking to each other, the bubbling pool in the depths of which something luminous is swirling, the statue of an old wizard with a strangely twinkling eye. The Ravenclaw answer is the silver leaf tree bearing golden apples. Sounds like an Adam and Eve situation, so. Four boxes are placed before you, the Ravenclaw. Which would you try and open? The small tortoise shell box embellished with gold inside which some small creature seems to be squeaking. The gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key marked with a mysterious ruin that you know to be the mark of Merlin. The ornate golden casket standing on clawed feet whose inscription warns that both secret knowledge and unbearable temptation lie within. Or the small pewter box, unassuming and plain, with a scratched message upon it that reads, I only open for the worthy. The answer is the ornate golden casket standing on clawed Ravenclaw feet whose inscription warns that both secret knowledge and unbearable temptation lie within. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It's about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the trolls club? if you could. First, a nearly perfected cure for dragon pox, then student records going back 1,000 years, and finally, a mysterious handwritten book full of strange ruins. Or we have first the records, then the mysterious book, then the cure for dragon pox, or the book, the cure, and then the records, the cure, the book, the records, the records, the cure, the book, or the book, the records, the cure. <laughs> The answer is first the book, then the cure, then the records. If you were a Ravenclaw, which of the following would you find most difficult to deal with? Hunger, cold, loneliness, boredom, or being ignored? The Ravenclaw answer here is hunger. If you were a Ravenclaw, which would you rather be? Envied, imitated, trusted, praised, liked, or feared? The top Ravenclaw answer is imitated. I guess a Ravenclaw would know that imitation is the highest form of flattery. We are very wise. If a Ravenclaw could have any power, what would they choose? The power to read minds? The power of invisibility? The power of superhuman strength? The power to speak to animals? The power to change the past? Or the power to change your appearance at will? Ravenclaw answer is the power to change your appearance at will. What are Ravenclaws most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition and disapparition, being able to materialize and dematerialize at will, transfiguration, turning one object into another object, flying on a broomstick, hexes and jinxes, all about magical creatures and how to befriend and care for them, secrets about the castle, or every area of magic I can.
The top Ravenclaw answer, pretty obvious, is every area of magic I can. Which of the following would a Ravenclaw most like to study? Centaurs, goblins, mer people, ghosts, vampires, werewolves, or trolls? <laughs> The top Ravenclaw answer is goblins. Stand back. A Ravenclaw and two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he'll let you all pass. Do you attempt to confuse the troll into letting all three of you pass without fighting? Suggest drawing lots to decide which of you will fight? Suggest that all three of you should fight without telling the troll? Or volunteer to fight? answer would be to attempt to confuse the troll into letting you all pass without fighting. Like, a Ravenclaw's like, guys, why do we have to fight here? Can't we use our brains? Uh-oh, one of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now, he's come top of the class in charms, beating you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened, obviously. He draws you to one side after his lesson and he asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill. What do you do as a Ravenclaw? What do you do? Do you lie and say you don't know? But hope that somebody else tells Professor Flitwick the truth. You tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, then you will. Do you tell Professor Flitwick the truth? If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, as you are both in the same house, if you're both in Ravenclaw, any points that he loses will be regained by you for coming first anyway in his place. Or, you would not wait to be asked to tell Professor Flitwick the truth. You knew that somebody was using a forbidden quill and you would tell the teacher before the exam started. The Ravenclaw answer is to tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If a classmate's prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. And you're both in Ravenclaw anyway, so you're still gonna get the points. A muggle confronts you and says that they are sure that you are a witch or a wizard. What do you do? Do you ask what makes them think so? Agree and ask whether they'd like a free sample of a jinx? Agree and walk away, leaving them to wonder whether you are bluffing. Or tell them that you are worried about their mental health and offer to call a doctor. would ask what makes them think so. Which nightmare would frighten a Ravenclaw the most? Standing on top of something very high and realizing suddenly that there are no hand or footholds or any barrier to stop you falling. An eye at the keyhole of the dark, windowless room in which you are locked. Waking up to find that neither of your friends nor your family have any idea who you are. Or being forced to speak in such a silly voice that hardly anyone can understand you and everyone laughs at you. The answer is standing on top of something very high and realizing that there are no hand or foot holes or any barrier to stop you from falling. Which road tempts a Ravenclaw the most? The wide, sunny, grassy lane? The narrow, dark, lantern-lit alley? The twisting, leaf-strewn path through the woods? Or the cobbled street lined with ancient buildings? The Ravenclaw answer is the cobbled street lined with ancient buildings. Heck yeah, Ravenclaw answer. It's late at night. The Ravenclaw's walking alone on a street. They hear a peculiar cry. They believe to have a magical source. What does the Ravenclaw do? Do you proceed with caution? Keeping one hand on your concealed wand and an eye out for any disturbance? You draw your wand and try to discover the source of the noise. You draw your wand, stand your ground, or do you withdraw into the shadows to await developments while mentally reviewing the most appropriate defensive and offensive spells should trouble occur. Which sounds like the most Ravenclaw answer? It's easy. It's the last one. <laughs> if you were attending Hogwarts as a Ravenclaw, what pet would you choose to take with you? A tabby cat, a Siamese cat, a ginger cat, a black cat, a white cat, a tawny owl, a screech owl, a brown owl, a snowy owl, a barn owl, or a common toad, a natterjack toad, a dragon toad, a harlequin toad, or a three toed tree toad. <laughs> So the Ravenclaw answer here is any of the owls except for the snowy owl? Apparently, that makes it less Ravenclaw if it's Hedwig. Black or white? The Ravenclaw answer is white. But not a white owl. Heads or tails? 
Ravenclaw would choose heads. And finally, left or right. Now you would think a Ravenclaw would always be right, but in this case, the Ravenclaw answer is left. And guys, that is it. You are now the ultimate Ravenclaw. Here are the results. These answers make you the most Ravenclaw that you can be according to this Pottermore quiz. Do you agree that these answers are the most Ravenclaw? Do you disagree? Are you a Ravenclaw yourself? And how many of these answers did you pick when you were taking the Pottermore quiz? How Ravenclaw are you? Please leave all of your thoughts in the comments below. I want to read them and talk to you guys about this because I think this is so interesting. Oh my gosh. I just love sorting so much, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And again, a big shout out to Kano for sponsoring this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can geek with me every week. Also, go follow me on Instagram, at Tessa Netting. I post on there almost every single day and it's filled with Harry Potter magic. It's just like magic. Links are in my description box. Thumbs up if you like this video. And don't let the muggles get you down. Stay gold starfish, bye! But you know, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. One only remembers to turn on the light. Expecto Patronum!